Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video on gaming on Linux. Uh, I just wanted to do another quick video on how you can play World of Warcraft on Linux. Now, there's a couple of methods that you can do to run the uh, Battle.net installer and launcher. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to use Steam. Now, the reason I'm going to use Steam is I have tried other methods, but I have not had much success with it. And it seemed a little more complicated than it needed to be. And I've come up with a, what I think is a really, uh, reliable way to get Battle.net and World of Warcraft up and running using Steam with Proton. Now, I think this will be a, is a good approach because you, you'll be able to take advantage of the uh, improvements that Valve are going to make to Steam and Proton. So hopefully over time, you, you should find your game experience to be more smooth and error-free. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's get to it. Okay, so now I'm going to assume you have all your latest video drivers installed. And also that you have Steam installed. And you've already set up whatever version of Proton you prefer to use. Now, if you look at my Debian gaming setup video, I go through the process of installing the uh, Glorious Egg Pro Proton. And so if you, you need help with that, just hop over there and check out that video. The steps are there. I'm not going to go through that again. But yes, we're going to be leaning on Steam and Proton to do the install for World of Warcraft and then configure the launcher so that we can begin the World of, Craft, World of Warcraft install. The so first, you need to download the World of Warcraft Battle.net launcher. So you just Google Battle.net, go to the Blizzard website, and right at the top here is the download Battle.net link. And we're going to download the desktop app. And I think it already has done it. Back here. Yep. Now if we go over downloads folder, I have the Battle.net that up executable. So this is this is the Windows executable. So how how are we going to run this? Okay, well, within Steam, Steam has the ability to add non-Steam executables, specifically uh, Windows executables, to your library. And when you do that, Steam will create a virtual Windows environment using Proton so that you can run that program as if it was on Windows. So what we're going to do here, go to games and say add non-Steam game to my library. And then you're going to go browse and go to your 
downloads folder or whichever folder you downloaded the .NET setup executable. Select it, select open. Say add select a program. There you go. So now it's created a library entry for the Battle.net setup. And before you run that, we need to make a couple of changes. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have selected Proton to run this. So we're going to go under compatibility, force use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And for me, I'm going to select my latest version of Glorious Egg Roll Proton 10-12. I know this one, nine times out of 10, will work for a majority of, the, of Windows games out there. We're going to select that and close. And once that's there, you just hit the play button and it'll kick off the executable. There we go. So now it's running the installer, just like if you were on Windows. Updating. So here you can deselect the uh, launch Battle.net when you start your computer because it's running inside of Proton, you know, virtual Windows. And you can just leave the default there, right? So this C drive is just a virtual drive inside of the Proton runtime. Continue. And we'll install Battle.net. Okay. Almost there. Very good. All right, so now we get the Battle.net login. So you'll just enter your login here and your password. So I'll do this. My other screen here. In. There we go. So saying scan for games. No, it didn't find anything. No, because it's a new virtual drive. And you can go through the tour. And there's an update. Okay, so First thing you need to do is quit the launcher here because we need to adjust the Steam launcher for this because right now it's pointing at the Battle.net setup executable, but we need to repoint our shortcut to the Battle.net launcher. So if this was to restart automatically, it would start the setup and we don't want that. We're just going to quit and I advise here you select exit application when you exit the window here because you won't have a, you may not have a uh, shortcut on your desktop or in your tray that'll allow you to close it. Just gonna say exit. Okay. And we'll just let it finish running. So it's still running. Just we'll wait a sec for it to close. If not, we'll just we'll just gonna force stop it here. There we go. So now what we need to do is repoint the shortcut 
to the Battle.net launcher. As you can see here, it's still pointing at this the setup executable in our home folder. But now we need to point to the Battle.net launcher, which is inside the Proton Windows environment. So we'll just kind of change the name of the shortcut. But so in order to do that, I created a quick little script that you can run in your console that will find the Battle.net launcher for you and give you the paths that you need. Let's go over here. So I'm going to put this command. It's just a one-liner inside of uh, the description for the video. You can just grab this, copy paste it. Let's just go into my console. So we're in our home folder. Paste that in. Boom. So you can see what it did. It just did a find for the Battle.net launcher from your home folder. And, I, and then it just prints out the, the values you need to copy and paste for your target and your start in. So just grab that for your target, copy and paste, okay. And then the start in, copy and paste. And also here you could you could change the uh, the icon as well if you want. So if you have uh... oh look, I have a World of Warcraft icon. I'll select that. I think it might update. Now we can just close this. And now when we hit play, it's going to run. The Battle.net launcher. And then once we have the Battle.net launcher, you can essentially install whichever Blizzard title you want and run it through this. And it will work. I have run um, StarCraft 2, Heroes of the Storm. All these titles work without a problem. But as we're focusing on World of Warcraft, uh, just, okay, I'll check for updates. That seems fine. Look over here. And we can select all. Yeah, you don't need. I'll leave auto web updates on. Leave the folder pointing at the C folder, which is inside of our Proton Windows Armor. Just hit start install. And hopefully this goes quick enough. And um, we look at our downloads. Downloading. Usually you don't have to wait for the uh, the full download and you can fire up World of Warcraft. Yep, here we go. Got enough. We'll just launch it here. Here we go. I haven't really uh, played World of Warcraft in a long time, but uh, I always do a good job on the intro, so I'm just going to skip this. It's 
still downloading in the background here. Good. Now we can go the screen here. Graphics. You got toggle it back and forth. Now, the only other thing I'm going to add here is this window behaves a little weird. Uh, on the desktop, it was like when I click it, it's like it, they stuck to my cursor till I click again. Also, if you resize this, it can get a little uh, unruly. And see how everything gets uh, kind of messed up and online. Now I can't close it. So if this happens, anyway, I'll paste this in the uh, description of the video. There is a way to revert it back to the default settings. And basically you have to go find this path within your uh, Proton library. And then inside the directory, there's a config file. And you just delete that and then just restart it. And it'll go back to normal. So just heads up if this happens. There's a way to fix it. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope this uh, hopes this helps you guys get your World of Warcraft grind going again, or if you want to play any other Blizzard uh, titles, here's a way to get your game on. Okay, thank you. We'll see you later. Good luck and happy gaming.